Hello everyone, it is Zach here. In this video, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to use the official middlemans in GPO. So basically, I've seen a lot of you guys fall for fake middlemen and middleman impersonators. And I'm going to show you the safest way that you can middleman without losing any of your items. And if we look at the guide here, it says, to use a middleman, follow these steps. Visit the trade hub, official middleman availability channel, and you have to middleman, you have like to text one of the people that's available in there and send them a DM. And once both parts agree on the trade, send him the ID of the other person that you're trading with or the username, it doesn't matter which one. And the middleman should ping you in middleman confirmation. This is not always the case, but sometimes it just goes straight into the middleman thing without pinging you. After that, you will be added to one of five channels in this server, the official server, as I will show on the screen right now. And then the middleman will guide you through the rest of the trade. It should be as easy as that. Guys, do not get scammed, bro. It's easy to avoid these impersonators and fake middlemen. All right, please do keep in mind that middlemen do not DM you first. For whatever reason, they will not DM you first. If somebody says he's got a middleman and then he says, I'm gonna make a group chat with the middleman, just decline, because that's basically a scam. Middlemen do not use group chats. They use the official Discord sub. I am going to post examples of impersonators and tell you what they're doing wrong and how to avoid them. And if you do find any of these impersonators, please take a screenshot of the chat and send it to a moderator and they would ban them straight away. A moderator or an admin or even a middleman, it doesn't matter. Like even the middleman, would they be able to forward it to a higher rank to take action? And without further ado, I'll show you an example of a trade I'm doing right now. All right, so as you can see, this guy was trading his marine cape for 50k bounty. So I offered him 50k bounty for the marine cape and I'm waiting for the answer. So he said, sure, I went to get an official middleman. As you can see right here, this is the official trade of This is where you get middleman from. <laughs> Hello, I am totally and realistically available right now for one single trade. And now that I have found one, I'll send him a DM and I would send him the ID of the other person I'm doing the trade with. Now that the middleman had agreed, he said he will add both of us to a channel in the official trade hub server. And now he has to confirm our trade to make sure both of us agree on the trade. And after that, he will send us a private server where both of us will join in. As you can see over here, to make sure he's original, I asked him to show me his middleman title in game and as you can see he did. If you're unsure if a middleman is real or not, please do ask for the middleman title in game. That's the only way you can check if he's official or if he's lying. Over here I asked him to show me proof that he has the item so that we can proceed with the trade so I can give the bounty away to the other person. And this is me trading him the fee, as you can see. I wanted to give him a gold fruit, but I didn't have gold, so I just gave him Cora instead. And now both me and the other trader have to go into main game, same private server, and just give him the bounty directly, or without having the bounty go through a middleman because that would just take too much time. And after I'm done giving the bounty, of course, I'm gonna go back to the same private server into trade hub and receive the item and that's basically all of it see it wasn't that hard was it and if you have any other questions please leave them down in the comments below and i'll be sure to reply to you thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one cheers